Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on various aspects of database replication and in this demo we are going to cover the database replication and its behavior with regard to metalized view as well as clustered metalized view. Before we uh, move to actual demo, I would like to uh, draw your attention toward my uh, recent blog on the database replication and failover failback. This is a multi-part blog and I would recommend you to please have a look into all the parts so that you have more clarity on uh, how these things works. So let's start with the demo. So for this demo, I'm going to use my primary account and I'm going to set up my context. And if you are following my previous videos uh, on database replication, you know that I already had a database called database for replication and this database has a source schema and this is already having the part table which was created as part of previous demo. But for this demo, I'm going to recreate this table from the sample database. So it will take a couple of seconds and then if I go here and do the select star from part, you will see that this table will have around 2 lakh records. So the UI only shows you 10,000 records and actual table has 2 lakh records. So now this table is already created and we will create a metalized view on top of this part table. So now you can see that the metalized view will also be get created. And if I go and execute this show metalized view, you will see all the information over here. Uh, if I just reduce this one and you will see that this is a metalized view. This is having two lakh rows. This is the size of the byte and the clustering is off. Uh, source table name is part refreshed on this and compact on this and behind by zero second. Now if I go here and at the moment I don't have this uh, metalized view on the secondary but I have this part table which was created as part of previous demo. I will just refresh to get this recreated on the secondary account. So refresh will take a couple of seconds. Once this is done, we will see the part table and uh, then we will see the metalized view. So it's taking 15 or 16 seconds. Let me first see the metalized view. So by default, when you go and query the metalized view, you will see the metalized view information. Cluster by is null because it is not even clustered on the primary. Rows 0, byte 0, automatic clustering off and source table name refreshed on his null compact on is null and behind by is zero null. what does this mean um, does that mean that a metalized view has no data no basically when you do a replication of a metalized view in general uh, metalized view is uh, definition is copied to the secondary uh, database but it doesn't copy the data along with uh, from primary to secondary and this has been done to uh, reduce the cost and the storage uh, not the storage basically to uh, save the costing part of the compute part and to reduce the redundant uh, activity which we do on the primary and then we do the same thing on the secondary but by default if you see uh, when you create a metalized view on the primary and replicate that into secondary the definition of the metalized view is being copied uh, with as is what you have on the uh, primary database and uh, if you query the view you will see the data because metalized view always fetch the latest data from the table so if if you see here and if i go on the open query history and if i go on query history id and if i go on the profile you will see that it is table scan it's doing the table scan and it's going to get the data from the part table because at the moment there is no data on the metalized view on the secondary uh, database but uh, there is a feature on the metalized view that you whenever you query you will always see the latest data because at the moment there is no data on the secondary so it's pulling all the data from the source table so now uh, even though if you run the same thing so on the metalized view so this was one of the query which i run on the part table sorry i missed that with the metalized view but if i run the same thing on metalized view and if i run this query you will see the same information from here as well so if I scroll it here, you will see that this is also being copying the data from the table. So basically when I, when I do the select from the metalized view, uh, it is also uh, reading the data from the base table because metalized view has not running the background job on the secondary. It 
it doesn't show you that it is uh, not doing that but basically it's it is disabled softly on the secondary account till that time you do the failover on the secondary account so when you do a failover from primary to secondary then your secondary account will become active as a primary and at that moment all the things will start and that we will cover in our future demo but at the moment you can see that when you do a select from the metalized view it is go and it is going and read on the base table and not from the metalized view and earlier we, we have seen the similar information on the part table that's pretty much fine because that's a table from which we are anyways querying so if you see if we come here we will see that the same information over here so it's not this this gives us a proof that uh, only the definition of metalized view is copied from primary to secondary and no uh, monitoring uh, background monitoring of the metalized view is happening on the secondary and uh, let's go back uh, again but if we go and uh, let's go back first on the primary account and see other thing so we'll see that if we go there and see the distinct record on metalized view over here but if i go here and uh, click on the query id and view query profile it will show me that it's reading from the metalized view metalized view scan so if you see on the primary account it's not reading the uh, table rather it is reading from the metalized view which we have created on the primary account so that gives you information that how metalized view works in primary account versus how it behave on the secondary now the second thing what we i want to show you like i wanted to create a uh, cluster on the metalized view let me just go here and create the cluster and uh, i will just create a cluster on the metalized view and if i go and see the metalized view part here and if i click here you will see that the cluster by key is linear to partition and all the details are there right now if i go and say show metalized view you will see that the clustering is on for this table so if I go here and scroll to the right, you will see the clustering uh, information over here. Let me just copy this query because this will give me the actual thing which I am wanted to look. So all the information will be visible on one shot. So here you can see that the metalized view and the cluster by information, number of rows, bytes, clustering is on, base table name refreshed on and behind by zero second. And now the clustering is on. Let me just refresh uh, this uh, database secondary once more and replicate the clustering information on the secondary database. And then we will see again the metalized view. What is the information recorded over here? So here you can see that the clustering is on. So we can see this information clustering is on. But still you see the rows is zero, byte is zero, refreshed uh, on and compact is null and behind by is zero. So still the replication uh, happen from primary to secondary. Uh, clustering information is also replicated from primary to secondary. But uh, although clustering happened the primary, in the secondary, the background job for the clustering is yet not happened. And you will not see any information on the clustering on the secondary account. If I go here, click here, you will see that no partition information, histogram information or any other detail are here. So that means background job is disabled by default uh, after the replication now let's go back again on the primary account let me add some new information just uh, by adding some or editing some existing data and see the number of details over here so if i go and insert another two lakh rows from the same sample table we will see that this table data got inserted successfully over here and if i go here and uh, query the show metalized view over here it has not uh, updated the number of rows at the moment so let me quickly go here and refresh this information as well here so by the time this is getting refreshed over here which means like i have inserted the data into the base table and you can see that the information on the metalized view will get updated into the metalized view in some time it will take some time but uh, this information will get replicated and you can see that it is currently behind by 8 minutes 4 seconds and if i query this again it will update the information that this is behind by 8 minutes 4 seconds 
and this was last refresh on this so and so time and you can see that the number of rows is 2 lakh whereas in the base table we have the number of rows 4 lakh but if you still query the metalized view you will see that the number of the rows will show you the exact from the base table so the difference will be get copied and if i close this you can see 400k so 4 lakh records is still showing as part of query from the metalized view but in actual metalized view is behind the actual uh, situation so you will uh, it's fooling the data uh, whatever is possible from the metalized view and then patching it up from the direct query from the table so you always get the latest update but uh, if you come here and if you go here and see the same information over here uh, on the second ray count you will see that the rows are still bytes and all the other information is still zero which says like this is not getting uh, updated over here but if you come here and run this select star from metalized view you will still see the data, uh, data updated because you have already copied the data from primary to secondary as part of base table and you will see that the base table has 400 number of records the same information you can see uh, here 4 lakh records are still as part of query from the metalized view but replication only copy the base table and the definition is already there so clustering is on but you don't see any uh, improvement on the metalized view side or the reflection of this rep clustering on the metalized view or the background job of metalized view from primary to secondary so uh, but it will take some time and uh, once we will see the information has been replicated to metalized view over here but you will not see that information be replicated so now you can see that the metalized view information has been replicated from metalized view here and uh, the records have been updated refreshed on and i think it will show zero behind by zero second and if you go here and if you do the same execution of the query over here you will not see that information it will show all the thing blank or zero and behind by zero but still you will see all the distinct records as part of your base table query so uh, and also if i go here and see the system clustering information hopefully this is also updated so now you can see that the clustering information has also been updated on the primary account and you will see the total number of account has been updated to four which was earlier zero and average depth is one and all the partition like we have this number of depth histogram detail because the data is not that much and uh, we see all the clustering information on the primary account but we don't see this information on the secondary account and even if we run this on the secondary account you will not see the information because the replication only copy the data and replication after replication the background monitoring of the cluster table or the background job for the metalized view monitoring is turned off till that time we do the failover from primary to secondary and make the secondary as a primary so that we will cover as part of another demo but uh, for this demo i just wanted to cover this part some of the observation which i want to share with you is like cluster metalized view get replicated to secondary database successfully which we have already seen on the demo clustering is on on the secondary database for metalized view after initial as well as subsequent refresh unless change in the primary database only metalized view definition is replicated and not the data as you have seen so metalized view uh, all the things are null or zero um, and uh, background job is not uh, not uh, doing the monitoring or updating the clustering information on the secondary account although the clustering is on in secondary database for metalized view but no background job is monitoring and updating clustering information in secondary database both metalized view data and clustering will become active when primary database will fail over to secondary database and when we drop the drop the changes or change do the changes on the clustering detail in the primary database it will get replicated as is in the secondary database as we have seen on the table clustering so that's all for this demo and uh, hopefully you like this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you